factors and multiples. How are factors and multiples related? The product of two numbers is a multiple of each number. 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 and 4 are factors of 12. 12 is a multiple of 3 and a multiple of 4. 3 is a factor of 12 because 12 divided by 3 equals 4 with no remainder. To show that 12 is a multiple of 3, we list the multiples of 3. We do this by multiplying 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. 12 is on the list, so 12 is a multiple of 3. 4 is a factor of 12 because 12 divided by 4 equals 3, with no remainder. We show that 12 is a multiple of 4 by listing the multiples of 4. We do this by multiplying 4 by numbers like 1, 2, 3, and so on. 12 is on our list, so 12 is a multiple of 4. Let's compare factors and multiples because it's easy to get them confused. To do this, we list the factors of 12 and the multiples of 12. Factors are numbers that divide into 12 without a remainder. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now let's list the multiples of 12. The multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and so on. We find the multiples of 12 by adding 12 to the previous number, starting from 12. We can also multiply 12 by counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Every number has an infinite amount of multiples. We see that 12 is on both lists, so 12 is both a factor and a multiple of itself. This is true for every number. Let's take a look at the factors of 12. We notice that all of the factors are less than or equal to 12. Now let's look at the multiples. We notice that all of the multiples of 12 are greater than or equal to 12. Other than the number, factors are smaller and multiples are greater than the number. We can use these images to help us remember the difference between factors and multiples. Imagine that all the factors can fit inside 12. This is because the factors are smaller than 12. On the other hand, the multiples of 12 are greater than 12. So we can imagine them outside of the 12. Multiples go on forever. Each number has an infinite amount of multiples. Just like we can't count how many stars there are in space, we also can't count how many multiples each number has. Let's try some questions. Is the number a factor of 8? We know that factors are less than or equal to 8, so we can cross out 10 and 16 because they're greater than 8. Let's check if 3 is a factor of 8. Divide 8 by 3. We get 2 with the remainder of 2. So 3 is not a factor. Let's try 4 by dividing 8 by 4. We get 2 with no remainder. So 4 is a factor of 8. Let's try another question. Is the number a multiple of 8? Multiples are greater than or equal to 8. So we can cross out 2 and 4 because they're less than 8. To check if 12 and 24 are multiples of 8, we list the multiples of 8 by multiplying 8 by counting numbers. The multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, and so on. 12 is not on the list, so it's not a multiple of 8. 24 is on the list of multiples, so it's a multiple of 8. Let's try another question. Tell whether 18 is a factor or multiple of the number. 
Is 18 a factor of 3? No, because all factors of 3 are less than or equal to 3. Is 18 a multiple of 3? Let's list the multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. 18 is on the list of multiples, so 18 is a multiple of 3. Is 18 a factor of 36? 36 divided by 18 equals 2, with no remainder. So 18 is a factor of 36. Is 18 a multiple of 36? No, because all multiples of 36 are greater than or equal to 36. Let's try another question. List the next nine multiples of each number. Find the common multiples. Let's multiply 4 by counting numbers to find the multiples. The multiples of 4 are 5. Let's find the multiples of 6 by multiplying 6 by counting numbers also. A common multiple is a multiple of two or more numbers. Let's find the multiples that exist for both 4 and 6. These numbers are 12, 24, and 36. So these numbers are the common multiples of 4 and 6. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.